Hi, hey, and hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode two of the Minecraft Hardcore Survival Guide. Today, I definitely need to get some animals going. Um, right now, I don't have anything. I need some cows. I need maybe some pigs, maybe some sheep. I might even get some chickens if I need to. But before I can do any of that, I am going to need to build somewhere for them to live, basically. So what I'm trying to say is I need to build a barn. Now, I have an idea for what I want to do, but it's very basic and I, I'm going to need a lot more resources than I currently already have, especially if I want to continue with this current theme. I'm going to need to get a lot more deep slate, a lot more wood and uh, probably a little bit more cobblestone as well. So I'm just going to do a little bit of resource gathering to start off this video and I will cut back once I think I have enough. All right, guys, so I just did a little bit of mining off camera. I just got back. Uh, this is what I hold. Um, um, it was a really successful mining session, in my opinion. I uh, even managed to get to the nether and find some netherite, just a little bit to get me through this world. I set myself up with some full netherite armor, found a lot of enchanted gold apples. Um, I even managed to find a stronghold and make my way to the end. And yes, you know it, I did beat the ender dragon, of course you know me, and I got myself some elytra, and yes, I think we are doing fantastically. Alright, so without further ado, let's get to building that barn. Alright, so I'm back from the mining trip, and this is what I actually got. <laughs> I got six iron. Six! Do you hear that, Mr. Spider? I got six iron. Anyway, I'm going to smelt my six iron up and get back those two pickaxes that I broke. I will now transfer all of my resources into my stone chest. It's honestly really sad how little resources I got from that. This is looking very sad at the moment, but it'll have to do. For the moment, I think I'm going to go and hunt the surface caves to see if I can find some iron because <laughs> I'm desperately in need of iron. So I'm going to see how much I can find by just investigating these caves. I think I didn't go down this left side, so I hope there's a little bit more to explore. And it looks like there is. Okay. There also seems to be many, many mobs down here. So I'm slightly skeptical to go down. Yo, who hit me? Is it a spider? Oh, goodness. What? What am I dying to? They're hitting me through the block. Maybe I shouldn't be experimenting with that. I'm going to break that block and see if I can whack these spiders here. Ow. It's not very nice. Come here. Let me hit you. I just want to get rid of this creeper. It's my main concern. Oh, and there goes my sword. Okay, what else have we got in here? I'm hoping there's no no more creepers hanging about. Right, I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to head down and see if I can grab this iron here. It would appear that there's a, an enderman right there. Take down the skeleton and the spider. Hopefully we're not hitting that enderman there. And it looks like we are... <laughs> this is still terrifying for me. I don't have any armor yet. I still have the gold armor, but it, it's gold armor. Come on, let's be realistic here. I'm going to grab all this iron, and <laughs> hopefully what I grab here is actually going to be enough to properly make myself some usable armor. That would be fantastic to have. I'd gain a bit more confidence in these caves, be able to get a lot more iron and other resources. All right, 10, 10. Okay. Oh, God, okay. We've got more mobs down here. Let me just take these guys out. Yikes, okay. I'm just gonna light this up down here so they don't spawn. That's a good idea. And we've got a little bit more iron. Two more to be precise. Nothing up. There's a little bit hiding away down here. Still only 14 and there goes my final pickaxe. So I think it's a bit of a forced end to this tiny mining expedition. And I'll go up, smelt this iron and make myself some more pickaxes. And then I'll probably have to go and find a bit more iron before I can do anything else. So I'll cut back once I've got a bit more iron. All right, so the iron supplies are looking a bit healthier now. I've and how got my hands on 58 more. I probably won't even bother going up through there. That doesn't look like it'll be very fruitful. And oh goodness, it's nighttime. There's a creeper right here. Okay, I'm just going to retreat back a little bit. Take this guy out before I can go any further. Okay, I'm really terrified of drop creepers because that's happened to me way too many times. I've just died from a creeper dropping down on top of me. So I'm just going to be really careful with how I exit caves and enter places with kind of ledges and fight my way just back home. Oh gosh, I mean, you have a shovel. Didn't drop the shovel, unfortunately. That would have been a free iron shovel. Alas, 
probably at a very bad durability, but nothing I can't combine with my current one. All right, so I feel as though I'm in a bit better fighting shape. I have an iron sword now, and once I smelt all this stuff up, I can get myself a full set of iron armor. I just need to take these guys out before I can go to sleep. Creepy didn't see me, that's good. Fantastic, and I'll just quickly sleep, get through the night, burn up the rest of the mobs, and if I need to, I'll take down some creepers in the morning. But for now, I'm gonna put this in the, in the furnace, smelt some of this up, grab this, and I'm gonna make another axe, gonna get a bunch more wood, and I'll see you once I've got that wood. All right, so I've just finished mining those trees there, and this is what I got. Okay, that's quite a lot of logs. I'm definitely gonna be sorted on the log front. Um, time to go and grab some other resources just so we can start with this build. All right, but before we get on with the build, I'm just going to grab this iron, make myself some iron armor, and then we can get on with it. There we go. There's, there's our suit up advancement. About time. Okay, so I am probably gonna have to start this build off by clearing out a little bit of grassy land somewhere. I'm thinking about doing it just over here. I'm not really sure how much space I'm gonna need in the long run, but first off, I'm gonna clear off just this little bit of land here off to this side so I have a bit more space over here, just directly out back of my house, and I'll have a big barn right there. Right, so I've just finished clearing out this area here and it's just come turned into night. So I'll just fill in this little patch up here and then I'll jump into bed and we can start with the building tomorrow morning. Good morning gamers. All right, let's get a rock and rollin' with this build. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up the I'm gonna set this barn up pretty much the same as I have with this one here with my spider house. I'm just gonna start with some spruce pillars and some cobblestone to kind of show the frame of what it's going to be like. So I think I'm going to have it A wide. I'll put a door here, just a three by three. Sorry, just a three wide door. And I'll continue this out so it's symmetrical on this side. And grab these free bones. That's uh, <laughs> much appreciated. Thank you, Mr. Skeleton. And then I'm just going to bring this back. Probably call this one section, two section, three sections, four sections, and... Five sections, I think, should do it. All right, uh, it's gonna be a, it's basically gonna be a big square. <laughs> I'm not very creative. I'm just going really simple with this stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna just copy the design on this side. It's gonna be basically just free to walk through all the way through. There's gonna be no doors or anything. So I, even mobs could get in, um, which means it could potentially be a bit dangerous, but. If we kept if we keep everything well lit, I feel like we should be safe. So I just keep going along here, finishing off this frame. And there. Okay, so that's the, gonna be the size of the barn. It's gonna be quite a large build. I'm gonna do my best to keep it quite low profile considering the size, because I don't really want the barn to be the main eye catcher for this base. But obviously eventually we'll probably get some bigger buildings in, but for now I'm just gonna leave it as is. And we'll see what we can do. So I think I'll just make all these pillars around here three tall, like so. And then I'll bring it up to a little bit of a peak in the middle over here by bringing this up. And the MLG, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks like the frame is done and that is gonna be the basic shape of this barn. We're just gonna have a slabbed roof going up on both sides there. And then I'll probably just bring it up a little bit more so we can get a bit of a few windows up the top there, just so it doesn't look like a big flat slabby roof all the way around. I should probably go grab the stone cutter so I can make all these slabs and then I will set it up out here. All right, so it's time to get to crafting these slabs for the roof. I'm gonna make a bunch of these deep slate tile slabs and then I'll make a bunch of the brick slabs as well because I'll be keeping with the theme. I'll do the tiles on the outside and the brick slabs in the middle. Okay, so we've got the basic frame in and I think that's looking absolutely fantastic. I love the way that uh, we've got everything coming down, sloping up, and there's just a little bit of a raised roof there so we can have a couple windows in there. I think that's gonna look absolutely fantastic once it's done. And 
Bam, okay, so we've done the outside bit of the roof on both sides, and I think that looks really cool. Um, probably it might, might be a good idea to get a bit more detail in there at some point, but for now I'm just going to leave it as it is and finish off the rest of the build. I've got to do the top bit of the roof, I've got to do all the walls, and then I've got to do the interior. <laughs> and I don't like doing interiors, but uh, I'm th I think I might have something good planned for the interior of this, just to keep it nice and simple. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm going to get to doing these window designs up here on this roof. So I was thinking that we could probably fit uh, three windows in here. So if I bring this across, uh, I'll show how much space I've got and I'll see what I can work with. All right, I'm probably going to line these up with these pillars down here. Uh, however, it is a bit odd and I probably won't be able to fit three in if I do that. So I'll probably just do one in the middle and then two either side. So there's one in the middle there. We'll get this going up to the top. So we'll take these three out like so. And that's going to be one window and we could probably do another here. Take these three out here. And if my maths are correct, nope, it's this one, it's this one. My maths were definitely not correct. So there's a three gap in between. That's gonna be perfect. And then I'll do another three gap on this side to match that symmetry. All right, fantastic. And now we can start building up these windows. So I'll just bring this up in same slab kind of fashion here. I'm probably gonna to need to get up there. Break that block. So this is the general idea. We'll just bring it up like a normal bit of a slab roof. It's gonna be the same height as that one there. And I think this is just gonna add a lot more depth into the roof at the top here. So it's just not a plain roof going all the way through. And yeah, I think that's gonna look really nice if, if we finish that up on the other side as well and fill in the gaps with the rest of our deep slate brick slabs. All right, all right, all right. So we've just finished off that little top bit there. We've got those window little arch bits on both sides. We've also got a pillager patrol over there. So I'm a bit skeptical to go inspect it from the other side, but I promise you guys, it looks exactly the same on the other side. It's entirely symmetrical. I'm just gonna take out this zombie who's way out of... Okay, I'll take a free carrot. <laughs> But yes, that's that's what it looks like for now. I'm definitely going to go add some more in, uh, detail onto these bits here because that is still a large flat area of kind of the same block and it looks a little bit boring. But now I'm going to start filling in the walls. I'm going to start adding some spruce and maybe some spruce fences and, and we'll figure out what we're going to put at the top there. All right, I think we figured it out, guys. I think we're just going to replicate this on every single side. And then along here, we can just do a basic one of these and just add that along the whole side along the back there as well and finish this up but first I'm gonna sleep so we uh, don't run into any more mobs and then if these guys are still here in the morning I'm gonna have to battle them off and it looks like these guys just refuse to leave so I'm gonna have to take these guys out uh, dodging ducking and weaving all at the same time there's so many projectiles that I have to watch out for here uh, I'm going to take the skeleton now because I'm actually a bit scared of the skeleton. It's good that these guys can't shoot very fast because otherwise I would be very dead. But um, there we go. There's our voluntary exile advancement. Oh, there's still one left. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have piercing. Oh, he was very low. Okay, so we've got that banner and we've got the effect and I need to be very careful because there's obviously a village right there. So if I can find a cow or something and get rid of this effect, that would be most ideal. Okay, so we got some cows over here, this is good. Thank you, sir. And I'll replace that so we don't have a random block just sitting there. And let's get to filling in these walls. All right, so we filled out the side and the front on both ends. Uh, we can see that we've done that side and that side as well, exactly the same as we have this way. And that look is looking perfect for me. I think this is going to turn out really well. Um, now we've got to figure out what we're going to do with this bit here. I'm probably going to add some walls up there and I'm going to have to add a bit of a frame there. I'll let those guys battle it out while I'm explaining this. So I'll probably just bring in a spruce frame up here. Oh, hang on, let me take the skeleton out. Ah, hello. Maybe I should light this up. <laughs> um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, we definitely need to frame this a bit. 
I don't really know what we're gonna do with the entrance. Maybe we'll just do some more fences, kind of like so, give us a bit of headroom. And then we'll bring across the spruce beam like that. And that can be our entrance. And then we can put something up there to fill that up. Probably calcite to fit in with that build theme there. Oh, hello, sir. Um, <laughs> and then maybe some, I don't know if we should do some more calcite or not. Maybe that'll look a bit weird. I'll, I'll play around with it a bit and I'll provide you guys with an update once I've figured out what I'm doing. All right, so it's a lovely fresh new morning and I have finally figured out what I'm going to do. All right, so I've added the calcite up here and I'm gonna put a little window, but instead of having glass, I'm gonna use just those oak trap doors as the, what looks to be a window. It's gonna kind of be like a grate that you usually see in a barn to let out all the, uh, the gases and stuff that'll build up inside from the stinky animals and cows, you know? Um, so adding a little bit of realism to this build, I'm gonna add some more of those windows along there as well. And just to break up that, uh, the texture just being flat and with no breaks there, I think I'll just go and add in some leaves with some maybe, with some signs uh, alongside them just to break up the, the leaves texture as well. And also here I'll add a, some more trap doors, maybe some, some spruce trap doors like so, and then I'll put some more leaves up there and make it a bit of a windowsill, even though you can't really access it. And I'll do the same on this side. So um, before I can do any of that, I need to go get myself some more leaves and uh, I'll quickly just pop these trap doors into place, not there. Um, boom and boom. All right, time to go get myself some oak leaves. Really hoping that many leaves is going to be enough for now, uh, but it's time to get onto the roof and start in these leaves in place awesome i like that a lot i like the way that looks that looks fantastic okay i'm gonna pop these leaves here can i reach over there oh uh, not quite okay i'll i'll just go pillar up over there that's fine this is adding a, a really nice touch of greenery into the build as well i think it's very much needed i might even add some more leaves down here just to break up this kind of flat uh, area of kind of it's colorless i'd say it's just a little bit bland in my opinion looks like i might run out before i can finish i'll probably be just one short as I usually am, as is the way with Minecraft resources, unfortunately. Okay, so we have seven left. Hopefully this means we can finish up on the other side without using up all of our signs. One, two, three, four, five on the other side. Okay, fantastic. I do actually have two signs left over, so that was a perfect amount of signs crafted. If I if I missed just one of those crafting sign things, I would have I would have been one off, because each one makes three signs, so <laughs> I think I just got really lucky there. But yes, I am loving that look. That looks so much cleaner and so much nicer with the greenery up there to break away that strip spruce look. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and add some leaves, just ragtag along here, like kind of just uh, aimlessly popping them down and we'll just break up this, this, this long, these long strips of colorless, lifeless areas here. Cause it's a barn, Every, there's living things inside here. So we've got to make sure that it looks like this thing's living in here. I also love the look of these, these bushy leaves. It makes everything look so much nicer in my opinion. And yes, that is looking a lot better. I am loving this. Okay. So now that we've got our barn mostly complete, I, I'd say the exterior is actually complete, but um, obviously we haven't done anything on the inside. We've only got torches and we need to fit this up for some animals to come and live here. So I'm gonna get to figuring out what I'm gonna do with the interior and um, maybe I'll add another little of stripped spruce logs just up there to kind of close off that little window bit. So I'll cut back once that's done, of course. All right, now I've figured out the very basic interior design that I would like to get eventually, but I do not have the resources to finish that off just at the moment. So I'll quickly just show you the changes that I've made. I've added some lanterns up here because I had a skeleton spawn and I uh, don't really want the skeletons rattling around outside the windows up there. So I added those lanterns and I think they actually make it look a bit better as well. They'll add a bit of light to it at night and it'll look fantastic. I've added a bunch of lanterns, lanterns on chains in here. So we've got um, much better looking light sources hanging around in here. Um, eventually I'll get some kind of lantern set up going in the corners over here just so we don't have any of those dark spots in the corners where mobs can spawn. 
But otherwise, I think this is a fantastic setup. We've got four separate pens, so we can maybe get sheep, pigs, cows, and if we if we want, we can get some horses or something as well, maybe fill this with chickens. But uh, we've got these barrel setups here so we can store some some food for them, so we can store their, their, their drops or anything that we might need to use inside this barn. But otherwise, I think this is looking fantastic. I'm just gonna go through and add some coarse dirt eventually when I get some gravel, and uh, I think it's gonna look amazing. But I am so happy with the barn, and I think I can consider this one done for now so i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna grab some wheat and we're gonna see what animals we can drag back into the barn we got the whole squad rolling up this is fantastic okay i'm gonna head over there and grab those animals as well but for now i'm just gonna take these guys home make sure they're safe in the pens and this is a great start to our, our barn collection here so we're really livening this place up we've got some life it's fantastic we can just get this guy in here and then i'll sleep for the night oh okay and i'll go grab those other animals over there so just kind of buffer up the uh buffer up the population inside the barn there all right good morning good morning good morning i'm actually gonna head over to the village before i grab those animals see if i can get some hay bales and maybe some more carrots or beetroot or something just so i can breed those pigs up and then we'll probably have to go plant some in our own farm because we are probably not going to have a very sustainable source of any of that. So we're going to have to keep building that farm up as well just so we can feed these animals. So I'm really happy with the progress we've made in today's episode. We've got that hobble barn up and running. It's almost fully functional. We've got some hay bales for some decoration slash functionality if we need it. And... uh Honestly, I'm really happy with where we're at. So we'll just go grab those animals and we'll finish up the barn with some horse dirt and some other small decorations around the place. There we go. Oh, that was some skillful maneuvering. All right, so now we have four cows. Let's breed these guys up. And we should get the parrots and the bats. Advancement there for breeding up these animals. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna breed these sheep up as well. Let's get a bit more experience and such. Um, didn't we have a black sheep with us before? I don't know where that guy went. Okay, um, we're just missing him. Um, there we go. We've bred up some of our sheep, some of our cows. We're gonna start building up that population now. And obviously, I can't breed up the pigs because I only have one carrot, which is a little bit disappointing. But uh, um, this is this is what we've got. So. A lovely population of cows, a lovely population of sheep, and we've even got quite a nice population of pigs considering we don't even have carrots to breed them with. But uh, without further ado, I'm just going to go and pop this over in this farm here just so we can start growing that. And I may as well harvest the rest of this just because it's all ready and replant this stuff. Fantastic. Okay, well, I think we are going to end the episode there. We've just run out of time. Uh, we've successfully built the barn in today's episode uh in between episodes i'll probably just link these up with a nice path sorry <laughs> and add some hay bales in here maybe some cauldrons if i can find more iron and basically just make it look a little bit nicer but nothing too drastic nothing that you guys will miss out on hopefully i'll see you guys in the next episode and i hope you guys have a lovely day slash evening my name is mopey goodbye <laughs>